welcome to the first wrap up of 2015. I'm so excited to bring you guys a wrap up video. I've missed doing these. So I'm glad that they're finally back. Um, this month is going to be different. I didn't read a lot of books this month on purpose as I told you guys um, in my January, what is it, TBR um, video. Um, I probably read about six books. And I stuck to that. I actually read five, five and a quarter. Um, and I will sh tell you what those books are and, of course, the star rating I gave them. Um, the one book that I did not finish is actually the book that I talked about during my Weekend Reads video this past Friday. And that is Gifted. This book, I am just slowly reading. And I did that by choice. When I started it, I said, you know what? I'm not in a rush to read this. Like, I'm not in a rush. I'm not on anybody's timeline anymore. I can read this as slowly or as quickly as I want. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been reading, I'm on page 63. I've been reading maybe about a chapter a day. And it's been great. It's been so long since I've been able to do that. And so that's what I'm doing with Liz's books. I'm going to just read them at my leisure, leisure. What am I, British, European, whatever. And I'm just going to take my time with this. So this is the quarter that I finished um, during this month. So I'm going to be working on this one well into February. And then I'll move on to the burned. But this is not my TBR for February. Let's get on to my wrap up. I have on a big baggy long sleeve t-shirt and it is heaven. Oh, it's kind of cold here right now. Yesterday it was 73 degrees. Today it's like 40 something. What's happening? Anyway, so the first book of the year that I read is The Summer Solstice Enchanted by K.K. Allen. This is actually one of the indie books that I told you guys that I would be reading. Didn't get to any of the other ones. I didn't get to any of the other ones because I want to read them when I am extremely interested and I honestly found myself on the verge of a reading slump before I even started this one so I said let's just read books that are lighthearted and sweet and I've been wanting to really read this one so I was glad I got this one that this was my first pick and so I read it and it was pretty good I gave it a 3.5 stars there was a little bit of a disconnect for me during you know some of the story I think it got to um, the climax of the book happened like in like the final like five pages for me or final like not even quarter of the book like maybe the final eighth of the book is when things started to pick up and that was a little too late for me I definitely can see potential in the next book it's gonna get bigger and better but this one was okay for me I gave it a three and a half out of five stars then the next four books I read are all ebooks so I'll insert pictures here um, I read this book called Soldier Mind by Lizzie Ford it was so, so good. This is a military slash contemporary romance about um, this soldier who lost his leg in war and he's coming back to, you know, regular existence and, you know, just finding out how to just still be a soldier while no longer being able to be deployed. He meets this young girl who is on the run with her little brother who is she's trying to protect her and her little brother from this whole situation that's happened with her the soldier and the girl meet and they just flourish into this beautiful friendship slash relationship the soldier becomes a mentor to the little boy oh it's just a great great story oh i love military romances that are that feel authentic to me and granted there's a little bit of dramatization in this book but i loved it so much lizzie ford has beautiful writing this is my first lizzie ford book i was so pumped by the end of this book like you cannot understand how happy and excited I was to have read this book. This book really got me out of my reading slump. I just, oh, I loved it. I gave it a massive five out of five stars. The next book I read is called The Space Between by Kate Canterbury. And this is another contemporary romance book about um, this hard-ass girl who, mad respect, I liked her, um, goes head-to-head -head with this CEO male guy, aggressive male guy? What? Male or guy, heck, um, and he is an architect, I believe, or something like that, and she is aspiring to be like him because he's like one of the top dudes ever, and she wants to follow in his footsteps, so she ends up getting like an internship 
apprenticeship at his company and he's an asshole of course at first and they kind of warm up to each other she is very very um frustrating which i really liked because there are a lot of qualities about her her name is andy that weren't that likable and i'm so glad that kate canterbury acknowledged those qualities i really really liked that she did that and that's probably what turned me on to the book is as i as i saw that her flaws would be acknowledged as being not that pretty to witness so i ended up giving this book i think a four stars and yeah, I would highly recommend it. I enjoyed it a lot. The next book I read was a young adult sci-fi dystopian called Broken Skies. And this is by Teresa Kay. Love this book. Loved it, loved it, loved it. This human girl, or so we think, falls in love with this alien dude. And like all this stuff happens. That's pretty much all I'm going to say. Because I don't want to spoil a single thing. This is one of those books where... I kind of wish I didn't go into it knowing what was going to happen because it was just so fantastic watching the world unfold and watching all these things happen, relationships form, action, action, action. It was really, really interesting. I had such a blast reading this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I cannot wait for the next one because it does end on a little bit of a... and then you're like... I need more. What do you mean you're going to end it there? But it was a really, really great read. I've never read anything by Teresa Kay before, and uh, I'm going to from this point on. It was awesome. Then the final book I read, Lizzie Ford, and I read Simpra. Is it Simper? Simpra? Simper? Simper Mine. And this is the first book, or the prequel, not, not necessarily prequel because they're standalones. This is the first book that introduces characters that are also in the second book, which is um, Soldier Mind. So it's Semper Mind, Soldier Mind. You can read them in any order, like I did. You're not going to miss anything. It was really good. I loved it. This centers around a different set of characters in the same world. So you get to see one of the characters from Soldier Mind is in Semper Mind. Well, one of the main characters from Soldier Mind is in Simper Mind. And it was so good. I just, oh, 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 T-Rex hands. Oh, they're so good. It was just a really, really great military romance. I love military romances. I love them. I love them so much. And Lizzie Ford, once again, is probably going to become one of my favorite contemporary writers of the year. Like, it just was that good. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars as well. So, even though I'm off to a slow start this year, I am off to a great start with only one 3.5 book, one 4 star, one 4.5 and star, and two 5 stars. Like, that's fantastic. I think I did a pretty good job this month, wouldn't you say? But yeah, so that is what I read this month. I loved all of the books. I'm so glad I read all of them. I cannot wait to read more books in February. I'm probably only going to have five books on my TBR as well. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go select those books and I'm going to go film my February TBR video so you're going to see the same kind of setup. But yeah, let me know what you read this month. I'm pretty sure a lot of you read more books than I did, which is totally fine. But um, yeah, it's a dramatic change or drastic change from what I was doing last year to this year. But then again, life has changed. So I'm barely trying to keep my head afloat, people. So five books for me, perfection. But yeah, let me know what you guys read down below, what you thought of the books that you read. If you've read any of the books that I have, your thoughts on those as well. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!